Now let us study about the mechanism of esterification. The first step is the protonation of carboxylic acid. First an acidic acid is taken and made hydrogenation is done. So the positive ion here is shifted to the oxygen present here. Thus the formation of ester takes place. Carboxylic acid. The step 2 is attacked by a nucleophile. The ester so form is made to react with ethanol. The lone pair in the oxygen of ethanol reacts with the carbon oxygen bond here and this positive electrons here shift towards the oxygen as shown whereas O becomes O negative. Furthermore on hydrolysis we obtain ester that is CCH3 COOC2H5 attacked by a nucleophile. Now let us discuss about the formation of anhydride or dehydration reaction. Except formic acids, others undergo intermolecular dehydration on heating with phosphorus pentoxide forming anhydrides. HCOH that is formic acid on dehydration forms carbon monoxide. The following reaction can be seen here. Formic acids when reacted in the presence of P2O5 on heating produces acetic anhydride. Whereas dehydration forms on reacting in the presence of concentrated H2SO4 produces water and carbon monoxide. Reaction with phosphorus pentachloride or thionyl chloride. Acetic acid when reacted with the presence of phosphorus pentachloride produces acetyl chloride and phosphoryl trichloride along with hydrochloric as acid as a byproduct. Formyl chloride being unstable decomposes to carbon monoxide and hydrogen chloride. In this following reaction we can see phosphorus pentachloride reacting in the presence of PCl3 to produce formyl chloride, phosphoryl trichloride and hydrochloric acid. Similarly, this chloro substituted aldehyde decomposes to give hydrochloric acid and carbon monoxide. The carboxyl group is involved in resonance that is the double bond character shifts between this oxygen and this oxygen and they remain in equilibrium. Hence reactions characteristics of C are greater than C double bond O is almost absent with acids. They do not form addition product with HCN or even N2H4. Reduction reactions. Carboxylic acid group is not reduced easily, but it is reduced to primary alcohol group by LiAlH4 or even hydrogen or ruthenium under pressure. This reaction works under high pressure. Heating with hydrogen iodide, phosphorus gets converted to carboxylic acid to alkane. In this reaction, we can see that carboxylic acid in the presence of hydrogen iodide and phosphorus on heating produces alkane. Decarboxylation When anhydrous sodium salts of carboxylic acids are heated with soda lime, carboxyl group is removed with the formation of hydrocarbon containing one carbon atom less. So when anhydrous sodium salts of carboxylic acids are heated in the presence of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide, they produce an hydrocarbon along with sodium carbonate. And when sodium acetate is heated in the presence of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide, it produces methane and sodium carbonate. Formic acids gets converted to decarboxylated on heating. That is, formic acid when heated to a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius, it produces hydrogen gas and carbon dioxide. 
This reaction form follows the carboxylate anion mechanism to produce alkane and CO2. This is a general formation of the decarboxylation process. Halogenation Fatty acids having alpha hydrogen atoms can be converted to alpha halo acids by halogen in the presence of halogen carrier like red phosphorus. Propionic acid in the presence of bromine and phosphorus forms alpha bromopropionic acid and also alpha comma alpha dibromopropionic acids. HVZ also known as hell wolhard zelensky reaction. When the halogenation is carried out with halogen and phosphorus trihalide, this reaction is known as hell wolhard zelensky reaction. That is, carboxyl group in the presence of bromine or PBr3 produces propanoyl bromide, which on further decomposition gives 2 bromobutyl bromide. On hydrolysis produces RCHBrCOH. Carboxylic acid reacts with ammonia to form ammonium salts which on heating undergoes dehydration to amides. Ultimately, alkyl cyanide results. Carboxylic acid reacts with ammonia to form ammonium salt which on hydrolysis and heating produces amide. Furthermore, an addition of P2O5 gives cyanide that is nothing but RCN. When formic acids react with ammonia, they produce ammonium formate which on decomposition and removal of water molecule produces formamide. Corpse electrolytic reaction Electrolysis of concentrated aqueous solution of sodium salt of acid gives hydrocarbon that is Sodium acetate on electrolysis produces ethane. Furthermore, we obtain two molecules of carbon dioxide and two molecules of sodium. Under this condition, formic acids produce hydrogen. Dry distillation of calcium salts of fatty acids. Calcium acetate on dry distillation that is on heating produces acetone and calcium carbonate as the byproduct. Reducing property Formic acid is unique because it contains both an aldehyde group and carboxylic group. Hence it also acts as a reducing agent that is it gets oxidized in a reaction. It shows positive for Felling's test Tollens reagent and decolorizes pink colored KMNO4 solution. In all cases formic acid is oxidized to CO2 that is formic acid on oxidation produces water and carbon dioxide. Formic acid reduces ammonical silver nitrate solution to metallic silver. That is, formic acid when reacted with Ag2O produces H2O, CO2 and two molecules of silver. Formic acid reduces filling solution. It reduces blue colored cupric ions to red colored cuprous ions. That is, formic acid when reacted with two moles of cupric ions along with 5 hydroxy ions, they produce carbonate ion which is red in color along with copper 1 oxide and 3 molecules of water. On the other hand, when sodium formate is heated to 360 degrees Celsius, it decomposes to hydrogen and sodium oxalate. Sodium formate on heating at a temperature of 360 degrees Celsius produces hydrogen and sodium oxalate.